what's going on everybody um today i got a crazy topic this topic is about bass i'm getting loud y'all 170 db i got two of these boys Woo! dc audio uh ascendant uh man whoever you can put up against this is not gonna fade the kicker comp baby no actually i'm just teasing y'all this speaker is this speaker, uh, I don't even know. I have nothing to say about it. I found it. Um, but this video is about subwoofer unloading. What happens when a subwoofer unloads? Basically, it goes beyond its mechanical limits. It just pushes out too far until the point, or it pushes in too far to the point where either your coil bottoms out and you can damage yourself, or the speaker goes so far out that... It actually separates from your um, surround, which can, you know, be damaging to a subwoofer. Or your spider rips or separates from the landing. And, again, that can damage the speaker because it's not going to do anything but keep going back and forth and ripping more and more and more until it just, you know, to the point where you even have to recone or buy a new one. But to talk about the subject of unloading, I'm going to grab a better speaker. I have a Punch HX2 with a little bit of homemade gasket because I have to take the original off to marry both the speakers. And with the subwoofer, um, you got pressure that builds on the outside of the cone, on the outside of your speaker. And then you also have pressure that builds up on the back of the speaker inside of the box. Now... As your driver, you know, has gets more voltage flowing through it, um, it's going to build up more pressure inside the box. And once it builds up a certain amount of pressure, um, usually within the, the spec of your box or it's the speaker residence, um, you have a nice amount of pressure inside the box, which will actually help keep your speaker's soft parts from you know moving out too far you know once you reach a certain mechanical limit you know that's where your speaker can damage itself and with this pressure okay imagine um the air all pushing on the back of this this cone all right now as the speaker gets voltage and it moves you got that pressure inside the box that keeps the, the speaker from going out too far, which creates like a negative pressure and a positive pressure, and the speaker won't bottom out. Um, it help, It works in conjunction with your soft parts, which is your spider and your surround. Uh, if the driver is below its residence, the bandwidth won't be there it, it, it you have sound it, it'll be okay but it won't be you won't have a complete bandwidth you won't have you know full potential of your driver um you don't have to worry about unloading with that um it's when it goes below its residence is when you can actually you know unload a, a, a driver and with that being said, when it's below resonance is when you got this pressure build up inside this box, this imaginary box. You got this imaginary port where the air is coming out. And then this air is coming out. You got pressure coming from the subwoofer. And then you got your cabin of your car. Okay? Now, as the speaker is playing, you know, this pressure is building up inside the cabin. And you... The driver might have his door open, and the mic might be, you know, in the car measuring the sound pressure in dBs, or he might just be giving somebody a demo. And let's say the person inside the car is just like, okay, I'm done with the demo, and opens the door to let their friend hear, or just to get out the car. Now, you got all this pressure, you got this pressure built up inside this cabin, which is feeding from inside the subwoofer box. So this pressure is at a is at a certain level inside the box and at a certain level inside this cabin. And the door is open or a window is down or whatever. As soon as that other door opens up, that pressure is gone. So now the pressure inside the box isn't what it was. 
Now that pressure that's holding this speaker or the imaginary or the air with the air fingers, imagine air has fingers and holding on to this cone. Now though the air is gone. A lot uh, it still has pressure in there, but it's not as strong. So now that speaker is gonna go in even in and out even more. It's gonna the driver's gonna move in and out even further now because it doesn't have that air to help stabilize it. And that's when a spider can rip or the outside surround you your your foam or your your, your rubber composite or whatever is gonna basically separate. Um you're gonna have speaker damage or the coil's gonna bottom out. Uh and with that being said, that's bad because you gotta either buy a new sub for or you gotta recone. And that's why a lot of guys are very, very cautious when they're playing or demoing about unloading. Uh, and this is usually with high power vehicles uh, and they have, you know, certain tuning on their boxes. Now, the, the box might not be specific for that driver or, you know, just... Okay, I got another scenario. Let's put this down. Okay. Say you're driving down the road. I know every base head has imagined, has experienced this. You driving, you got your windows up. All windows up. And you bumping. And you crack your window, or you let your sunroof open, or you let your window down, or you just crack your door a little bit. Oh, excuse me, I got the I ain't got the hiccups, I got the burps. And uh, I played it off very well in front of the camera, guys. Thank you much. Well anyway, um you you're driving, you got your music bumping, and you crack your window, or you open your door. You ever notice your sounds get a little louder? It seems like you got more air moving, or, you know, it's noticeably louder. And now, basically, you just unload it a little bit. And it's not to the point where you're going to damage your subwoofer. You just created less pressure. Now, the speaker's going to move more and create, you know, to try to get that pressure back up again. Um, depending on the driver, depending on, you know, it's a bunch of variables with this, and that's another video, another topic, but basically it, it gets louder, and it can actually, let's say, you know, your port is so big, that's another thing, box designs have a lot to do with so for unloading, uh, opening doors inside the cabin can also have an effect with unloading, so... Um, with that being said, as long as you, you build a box to spec, um, or if you don't build your box to spec, as long as you just keep an eye on your system, you know, keep an eye on your drivers and, you know, listening out for them and just watching, you know, just paying attention as you're, as you're basing, you really don't have that issue. You don't have nothing to worry about. And if you build your box to spec and, you know, you just have a tangible amount of power, you know, keeping that speaker from basically going past its limits, you won't have that issue neither. Let's, in other words, you got a 500 watt RMS speaker and you're giving it 450 to 500 watts RMS. Oh, no, nah, I take that back. You can actually have a 500 watt speaker. You can get a speaker 200 watts RMS and you can actually blow it. People are like, man, what? Yeah, you can blow your speaker out. Um, you, the, the wrong box for that speaker is not built for that speaker. That speaker is going to move too much. The, you, most likely the box is too big. That speaker is going to move too much inside the box. It's going to be go past its mechanical limits. It's almost going to be like, um, I ain't going to say a free air. That's kind of drastic. But basically the speaker isn't going to have that back pressure. And it's going to move past its limits. And eventually it could fail. I ain't going to say eventually it will fail. It could. But these are all ifs and could'ves and maybes. Um, and let me see if there's anything else I want to touch on with that. I think I pretty much covered the basis of it. Um, with that being said, I hope that this video was informative. If any sound gurus out there, home theater junkies, hi-fi junkies, or just anybody that's very familiar with this subject, um, please feel free to comment once again. This is... You know, it's a community and us base heads, we're just looking out for each other, you know, explaining some of the knowledge, you know, sharing it. And um, hopefully, you know, it gets passed on or hopefully that somebody takes, you know, hope this video helps.